Okay, so in this demo I will show you how we can run a band structure calculation using Quantum Espresso uh, through AIDA by automatically obtaining pseudo-potentials from the SSSP library and uh, the K points for the band structure from the SIGPATH tool. So to start, uh, we first uh, import, we want to import a structure from the COD open database of crystal structures. So what we do, we use the COD plugin to import structures from COD and we query for all structure in COD with this specific space group and with formula SI. So we are, what we're going to look for is uh, basically cubic silicon and we just take the first result of there are more than one in the database. Uh, once you get this result, this is a specific Python object which can has a method to return a AIDA structure. And to make sure we what we got is uh, what we expect, we can export it, for instance, in the XSL format, and we see this is a cubic cell with eight silicon atoms. This is a conventional cell, it's not a primitive cell. So the first thing we will do is to ask SIGPATH to standardize the cell and to get a primitive cell for it. So the actual call is basically this one, this get path. And what we will do in the next line is just to print some results uh, for it. What we can also do here with this get explicit k path, we already ask uh, seek path to return us an explicit set of k points along a path which we use later to plot a band structure. So we just run it and then we plot some results. So what Sigpa found was using the SPG library and behind the scenes is the Bravais lattice is a CF2, so it's a cubic phase center. This is the space group. And the input cell, which we provided, was a conventional cell and a four, a four, four times larger than the primitive cell. And also, it suggests us already a path to follow, which is gamma to x, x to u, k to gamma, etc. And these are the coordinates in scale coordinates for those points, which we use later for the band structure. And just to give an idea, this is the common FCC uh, brilliant zone, with, just to know what these points are referring to. So the, now we have uh, re obtained the primitive cell. The next step before running was is to get uh, the pseudo potential suggested by SSSP and the suggested cutoffs. So the first thing we do, we load all the cutoffs from a file containing them, which you can download from Materials Cloud, and we just verify that all the numbers have been loaded. So these are the, the suggested cutoff for the efficiency SSSP library from the uh, which we just loaded. And in particular, what we typically want to do is to get the maximum cutoff for all elements containing the structure. In this case, just silicon. Uh, so we just get this, this function, and the suggested cutoff for silicon is 30 Rydbergs. And before running the band structure calculation, we want to uh, first do an SCF calculation and actually we actually want to relax it. And what we do is to ask AIDA to get a uniform mesh with a given density of k points in reciprocal space. In this case, we choose 0.4 inverse angstrom, uh, which is what you can obtain with this function, set k points mesh from density. 0.4 is in units of... Uh, inverse angstrom, and the mesh we get for the specific cell is a 6x6x6 six by six by six, uh, cell, unshifted because we ask to include gamma by putting 0 in the offsets. At this point we are ready to run a simulation, so we just load a code, in this case PW5.1, which we already had configured in our IDA instance. Uh, we ask to run in one machine, just one node. We load the primitive structure we, we got before from SSSP, we load the k points we just obtained, and we use the pseudo potential from the SSSP family. And finally, we provide some basic information. We want to relax the structure. We provide the cutoffs, and we store and submit uh, the simulation. And then we just have to wait a few seconds while the simulation runs uh, to get the, the, the relaxed structure. While we wait, uh, i just tell you what we're going to do in the next step. In the next step, we will create a restart uh, using the output structure and run a band structure calculation. We use, again, one, just one um, CPU, sorry, just one node. And this, in this case, we use the explicit path which we obtained in the previous step, again, from uh, SIGPATH. Uh, we just have to change the type of calculation to bands. So, oops. 
sorry, there is a typo here. We ask uh, to get also the bands and we run our simulation. Again, we have to wait a few seconds just for the calculation to finish. And once this will be done, uh, what we will do, we will just export the output of this calculation, the output bands of this calculation, in a specific format, in this case JSON for simplicity, and with some uh, logic to, to print everything, we just plot the band structure here. And this is the, our final result.